today is the morning of getting my first tattoo i'm a little nervous about the pain and a little nervous about the entire healing process um, but overall i'm just feeling really excited i've been thinking about it for a while now um, so it's definitely not an impulse decision and i've been knowing that i've known that i want a tattoo um, something related to my dog for that entire time that i've been considering it so i'm just really excited i have not told my mom she will probably find out in a few months when i see her in person um, so that will be interesting but uh, yeah overall i'm excited and hopefully i can share some of the experience with you I still need to get ready. Um, I'm gonna change out of this white shirt because I've heard that ink can splatter. Um, so I'm gonna do my makeup and everything before I go out. And I've also heard that having a good meal is important before the tattoo because even though you're just sitting there, it's very physically taxing on the body since your body is basically getting an injury that entire time. Um, so I'm gonna have a big lunch. I had a big breakfast already and then What do you think of me getting my first tattoo? Good luck, baby. <laughs> For real, be serious. You ready to have a tatted wife? Yeah, she's still my wife. Oh, good answer. <laughs> I've been trained well. Hey, I'm not <laughs> including that. I headed to San Francisco to my tattoo artist studio and when I booked my appointment, I sent her a general idea of what I wanted and this photo of my dog and she had her design ready when I arrived. Then we talked through if I wanted any minor changes and decided on the exact sizing and placement and then she put the stencil on and prepped me to get started. I know that some tattoo artists can be really chatty during a session, but mine just played music in the background and focused on her work for the most part. And I think it just depends on the individual artist's working style and personality and also the client. But I spent most of my time switching off between reading my book and scrolling on my phone. And she had a phone stand set up next to me to make it easier to use my phone one-handed. Pain-wise, it wasn't bad at all until the last two hours or so during the shading detail work because the skin was pretty inflamed at this point and she had to wipe my inflamed skin as she was working, which did sting and burn. Almost five hours later, this is how it came out and I was so happy with it and amazed by the level of realistic detail she was able to do. And honestly, it sounds silly, but I was partially in disbelief that I was now someone with a tattoo. But at the end, she cleaned it and put on a clear bandage that you can barely see in this shot and gave me aftercare instructions for healing. I feel like she really did Kaigo justice and I could not stop staring at it. Meaningful. Meaningful, right? I can't say anything. 